reminiscent of the Chris Reeves 70s and 80s combat knife. This one solid piece construction by Schrade, the SCHF 21, will definitely not disappoint. Let's check her out right here and now on The Sharpest Edge. You got the sharpest edge what is up knife community this is blade love coming at you from the sharpest edge and you are with me in the man cave i have to tell you just perusing amazon i haven't seen this knife for over nine years and here is one now the schrade schf 21 boot knife now that's what i ordered funny little story with Amazon as I initially placed my order for the boot knife they sent me the survival knife style instead I went to get the replacement lo and behold when I received the envelope for the replacement there was no replacement in there so I contacted Amazon quite angrily and um, spoke to customer service and they were gracious enough to let me keep this one and just cancel the reorder so let's check out this on the music montage and I'll be back in a few moments to talk further about this piece. And of course, you didn't think I would forget about my specs, folks. Here they are. So how sharp is the dagger? Not bad for a dagger, which is not actually meant for slicing. It's meant for penetration. And that, it does very well. So when I received this knife from Amazon, um, it was in a blister pack. And I knew something was wrong right away when I looked and saw this sheath. Obviously, you're not sticking something like that in your boot anytime soon. Not to mention, it's a cheap-ass little thing. I mean, it the, there's no lock of any kind, just a little piece that would keep it attached to your belt. And really, most belts are actually thicker. I just, I don't understand why they would even create this kind of sheath for the blade. But, hey, what can I say? Um, I'll just get a boot knife made, a uh, boot knife sheath, excuse me, made um, by either uh, Bob Holsheiser out of leather or... Um, from uh, Pete at Armor Guard Holsters out of Kydex, so figure it out. But kind of swinging more towards the leather because I, I like these daggers. They're really cool. Um, one solid piece construction, AUS 10 steel, which has similarities to 440 and VG10. Uh, Rockwell hardness, I believe, is somewhere between 58 and 61 on the scale. Has a removable rear cap with some storage in the handle. Probably enough just for a ferrous rod, ferro rod. Um, it's still nice. It is watertight because it has a uh, O-ring on it. And it does screw in very well and just, you can feel the O-ring engage right there. Has a nice little glass breaker slash skull crusher on it. As I said before, the blade is extremely sharp. Whoa. Haha. <laughs> Lucky I caught it lengthwise there and not sideways. Boy, my hands aren't doing so good today. But she's a very nice, a very nice blade. Um, made in Taiwan. Um, Shrade's no longer obviously made in the United States anymore. Uh, which is a shame because they have a lot of great old-time pocket knives that uh, that company had made for a long time. So they're a very old company as well. So 
that is about it for this review on this blade. Um, I'll include the uh, links to where you can purchase one if you're interested. They are found between the range of 50, between 30 and 50 bucks ish, uh, 50 being the top line, um, 30 being probably close to if you can find one for Black Friday. So it kind of threw everything off. So um, normally they're roughly in the range of 40 to 50 dollars. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes with some final thoughts. The love of knives has taken me on searches all around the globe via internet uh, and dealing with people from all over the world. A lot of fascinating people and places. I've met a lot of new friends through the knife community this way. Um, it is just an, a worldwide love and our community is just so incredibly knowledgeable. It's amazing. Um, doing these videos is a trip. Um, I love sharing uh, different finds with you guys. Um, I love talking with you in the community. I love uh, comments that I receive on uh, the video most of the time. Um, it depends on, so I get some goofy comments. Um, and I get some serious comments and other times I get criticisms, which, hey, that's okay. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. Um, I'll be the first to admit it. You know, sometimes um, the old noggin uh, screws something up. I have to beg people's pardon because that's part of the heart issue and, and the uh, heart attack issue. But I'm working on it to, to get better. So uh, this helps me a great deal, um, keeping myself sharp, doing the research, study, and interacting with everybody is, is just fantastic. Um, I actually interact with all seven of the platforms on social media that I have. Um, I try to answer as many of the questions that I can see coming in, but not all the platforms are as good at alerting me to questions as YouTube and Facebook and Instagram are. Um, I've been finding issues with Vero, X, and um, Truth Social. Those three are kind of difficult to answer questions when people, you know, tag me and stuff. So please, for any of those folks, uh, don't think I'm ignoring you. It just is a factor of I have to actually physically go on and check the inbox. That's just the way it is, I guess. Other than that, I hope everybody had a wonderful turkey day. Um, I actually got to see my extended family, uh, spend time with my uh, wife's side of the family. Um, my sister and their family are in Florida um, enjoying their turkey day or had during their turkey day and uh, glad to see a lot of uh, uh, my friends and, and uh, colleagues in the knife community and knife world um, were celebrating with their families which I saw on Facebook and, and uh, kept in touch with them so that was awesome so anyhow this has been Blade Love from the Sharpest Edge I want to thank you all for watching this video and I want you all to always remember, be good to yourself and especially, especially be good to one another out there. Take care. Bye for now. You got the